The Russian government's lies have been exposed by one of President Putin's own henchmen. Now, the full story of this weekend's, uh, weekend's events and the long-term effects will take some time to become clear, and it is not helpful to speculate. But Rogozin's rebellion is an unprecedented challenge to President Putin's authority, and it is clear that cracks are emerging in the Russian support for the war. I, of course, hold no candle for Prigozhin or his forces. They have committed atrocities in Ukraine and elsewhere. But he has said out loud what we have believed since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, that this invasion was both unjustified and unprovoked. The events of this weekend are an unprecedented challenge to Putin's authority, with an armoured column approaching his own capital city. As the situation unfolded, the government monitored and responded to developments carefully. I was briefed on Friday evening and again regularly throughout the weekend by my officials. On Saturday, I chaired a COBRA meeting on the situation. We also have been in close contact with our allies. On Saturday, I spoke with Secretary Blinken and my other G7 colleagues, and I've also been in touch with other regional partners. My right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, spoke with President Biden, President Macron, and Chancellor Schultz on Saturday afternoon. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, despite these internal developments in Russia, Putin's bloody war in Ukraine continues. The Ukrainians fight for their survival, and our Ukrainian friends are mounting a determined counteroffensive and steadily clawing back their territory. We will not be distracted from our work to support Ukraine's self-defence and their subsequent recovery. This weekend's events show that it is Ukraine and its partners, not Russia, that have the strategic patience and resolve to prevail.